Hello, Maniac Pontificators. Oh! I'm Sy Starcraft. Welcome back to another Starcraft 2 commentary. My opponent is a fruit this time, but I don't mean a homosexual. I mean grape in the bottom left as the blue, green, red Protoss. RGB. Red, green, blue. Uh, red Protoss. I am in the top right as the blue Zerg, Vile Psy. Check out VileGaming.com. We recently had a clan war thingy majigger against FXO, and we actually held our own with a 3 5 finish. Not able to take the victory, but show some promise, man. We are showing some promise, and of course I didn't play. I'm not the most active player on the team. I'm not the strongest player on the team. But man, did you guys see Illusion? That guy is a beast. I remember I used to practice a few games against him, and I was like stomping him every game. I He would hand me my ball sack on a platter now man this guy is so good anyway the map is I don't even know what the name of this map is but it is against the Protoss I'm gonna be going 11 pool here and this game is really weird I urge you to stick around for it because it's really unusual it has an unusual ending it has an unusual ending I'm gonna be droning up after that 11 pool and oh my god that's the worst feeling in a row in, in a row in the world it's, uh, you're basically, like, clicking your drones or whatever, or, like, individual drones, but you accidentally hold control to select them all, and then you right-click a patch, and it just causes them all to go down the same patch, and it's really, really annoying. We are seeing a forge first, and this is the reason for an 11 pool, because it, it pretty much, uh, stops any kind of forge first aggression. It's not necessarily gonna stop them from expanding. Four lings will get out, but usually the protests will clog the holes. <laughs> so, yeah. There's that. I'm going to cancel that gas. I got the gas so I can train an additional set of links. Four links on the way as well as an overlord. And here comes the Nexus. Now this is kind of dangerous. Nexus before a cannon is the kind of opening that lets these links really uh, get in there and do some damage. However, I have a decision to make here. Do I want to kill this pylon or go straight for his base? Looks like I can kind of do both here. I forced the cast cancellation of two pylons there. And it looks like I am going to chase this probe for a tidbit. And I really like to send one ling after each uh, wayward probe so they don't run away and set up a proxy pylon somewhere. Now I realize that this probe is going to be dead. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yes, the probe is dead. And unfortunately, I am scouting the wrong location. Had I scouted the bottom left, my lings would have been able to run by and do a lot of annoying harassment. So... A bit of a risky move by Grape. He got lucky that I didn't really know where he was at. I mean, I have a 50-50 chance after the Overlord Scout misses. So, uh, I guess technically I have like a 66% chance of knowing where he's at by the time I send my Lings. Unfortunately, it didn't happen this game. His cannon is up. I'm not going to be able to get any harassment in with my Lings. But the good news is... Oh, you poor little bastard. The good news is I, I have... Uh, some lings out here. I can watch any probes that might try to run away. Actually, he actually has one out right there. So that's unfortunate, but, you know, not a huge deal. Second queen is out. Why did that queen not make any sounds when she came out? What a bitch. What a slut bitch. I'm not seeing any sounds. Yeah, anyway, I had to check my sound settings to make sure they were uh, going all right. This probe's going to be really annoying, especially with the pylon. Finally, finally comes out. A transfer is going down. It looks like I'm transferring nine drones. Well, I have 15 drones left of my main, so that's not a giant transfer. It's just a little bit later than normal, so you're going to see a lot more drones than normal. Cybernetic core is on the way. And see, see what I mean? He tries to sneak out a probe. It's not really going to happen, so he's going to run back to base. Another advantage of having these lings out here. I tried to pick it up, but uh, the AI not the greatest on those probes. And now he's sending in a, dr a probe scout. So once this scout goes down, which I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, one more step. Oh, I'm going to inject, it looks like, and then intercept it with this third queen. So I actually have three queens out, one for uh, some in some creep tumors. Now he has zero probes out on the field. Here we go. Now shooing away these lings with the zealot. Had I four lings here instead of three if I hadn't lost one, I'd be able to fight off that zealot here pretty effectively, but I uh, wasn't able to do that. He is going to send out that probe for some proxy pylons. It's funny how how heavily Protoss rely on these proxy pylons. It's, it's kind of weird. Four gases on the way. I'm at about 34 drones. So he has 32 drones. And um... There's the Roach Warren, and you don't, just like against Terran, you don't want to neglect not getting the Roach Warren. 
or you don't want to neglect getting the Roach Warren, I guess I should say. Because, like, Zealot Timings, if you go Ling Muta, it can really wreck you if you don't have any Roaches. You just have to get mass, mass Lings, but then they'll, like, send in uh, two Warpins at once. They'll have, like, eight Zealots. They'll have plus one attack, as you can see here, and it's a big mess. Now, in every game, it seems like I make one mistake, and my mistake this game is this guy right here. Need to be beating that down. You know what? Sacrifice a couple drones, get a couple extra links, and beat down those rocks because this is a common place for Protoss to assault. And if they're able to get in here with sentries, force field, force field, force field, force field. Now, of course, this isn't the biggest joke either, but he has to use twice as many force fields to block it off. I do see this uh, probe going to be chasing it down. And what's the Protoss doing meanwhile? Looks like he has a robotics facility. Just a couple gateways coming. Looks like he's adding on four gateways to make it five. Second guys are on the way. Harvester count now 51 to 39. He's actually lost three harvesters just by sending them out onto the field doing some random scouting and proxy attempts. So um, I don't know about that. That's kind of careless. You really don't want that to happen. Maybe lose one scouting and then that's it. But oh well. Three sentries on the way, he made those sentries first, which is smart, and he's actually walling off completely. I guess he's going to be busting down these destructible rocks. Oh no, he cancels that. Okay, he realized it was a complete wall off. I thought he would just be busting down the destructible rocks. But Alara is on the way for myself, as well as another hatchery for the macro purposes. Oh, and he's going for some war prism play. Corona boosting that war prism. Maybe going to try to drop my main or my third. Something like that. Observer's going out. Uh, I think he should have got the Warp Prism first. The timing would have been a lot faster, but, you know, whatever. I'm not a Protoss player. Looks like he's getting two Warp Prisms, actually. Warp Gates are complete. Needs to start warping in some units there. Looks like he might just wait until he does uh, uh, send out that Warp Prism. And this Zealot in the middle is going to be taken down after this Roach had to flee from it, because those Zealots can 1v1 Roaches if you don't micro at all. Spires on the way, as well as my roach speed, which is a bit unusual. You don't often see that, especially when I have, what, just a couple roaches on the field, six roaches on the field. Here comes the rope, war prism, four sentries, three sentries and a stalker with a nice amount of energy. Gonna be very annoying. Can I see this? Yes, I can, but these rocks are not busted. I have to go all the way around if I want to help this base. It's gonna be warping in five zealots. If I had even a couple roaches here, six roaches, man, against this number of units would be actually fine. Because sentries and uh, zealots are really bad against roaches. These drones, oh, bust out the rocks, you silly bastards. Oh my gosh, you guys are retarded. And now the roaches are gonna be working on these rocks. So it looks like it's too late for my third base. Speed is, uh, is coming, uh, plus one attack is coming, and I really just want to wait for my Spire. I'm going to sacrifice the space and try to get something done with the Spire. In the meantime, another Warp Prism coming this way. I can't see it with my Overlord. Decent Overlord placement right there, but will I actually see it with my eyeballs? I don't know. 11 meters on the way. It looks like he is going to back off a little bit. Maybe he realizes that my Overlord was there and he, he thinks I see it. I don't remember if I actually saw it or not. This hatchery is about to go down. So I'm going to be on two base and the Protoss player already taking his third base. So great little opening from Grape. Oh, and he actually has a Dark Shrine as well. Is he going to warp in right here with the Dark Shrine? I don't know. Uh, looks like a drone transfer, a probe transfer going down for the third. Oh my god! He made the mistake too! Wait, wait, oh, he walled off right here. What a goon. These mutas are going to take down this war prism, which have three sentries and a stalker in it. Oh, that's a huge pickup right there. These drones or probes still not able to get in because of that wall off right there. It looks like he wants to warp in some Dark Templar, but I have an Overseer sitting right here, and I'm going to spot all of these Dark Templar because the Overseer was there initially for this Observer right here. I was going to kill the Observer, and down goes that uh, war prism, and GG. Um. Um. I I guess okay. The food was pretty lopsided. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. He had oh he had one stalker. He had okay okay. I think it was a, a several things. First off, killing this war prism with three sentries and a stalker. That's not a good feeling. Second off, having an overseer conveniently placed to kill three dark templar after spending all this tech. Uh, and also killing that war prism. That was two. Three, these probes were sitting here for like a minute or two, game time, not doing anything because they're trying to be transferred to an expansion that had a complete wall off. And four, he had no units because his tech was so spread thin. He had uh, Dark Templar tech, he had Colossus tech. I'm surprised he didn't have like Void Ray tech as well, but I guess all those things compiled uh, with the addition of these mutas. 
um, posing a threat to like right here. Uh, I actually had cannons here and uh, right here. So I guess it all just was like, okay, f screw this, I lost, and then he left. And, you know, when this happened, I was so shocked. I just kind of, like, stood in the game for a while, and I was like, what? What? But anyway, really unusual game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It just shows you, like, even if you look like you're really far behind, you don't know what kind of mistakes your opponent is making back at his base either. Or, you know, make be, uh, even at your base, big mistake right here, losing that uh, war prism. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Penis balls, cock vagina. GG!